Episode 8 of the Monday Morning Worship Leader, an irksome phrase. Praise God from whom Praise all blessings flow. Praise His most great Well, it's so good to be here with you on, uh, and again, I record these on Sunday night, um, this particular Sunday night. As I'm recording it is the first night of Daylight Savings Time, one of <laughs> one of my most disliked days of the year, and we could go into that all you want to, but it it's just, it's rough on my old body, I think. But I glow in the fact that we had a great Sunday morning preceded by Kimberly, my wife and I, being able to go up to the Minnesota-Wisconsin Baptist Association, Baptist Convention, and enjoy uh, lead worship for the Empower Conference there. Met so many great and loving people, love those people up there, and just had such a good time. And so uh, I come to you a little tired, but also very excited to talk to you. And today, I just wanted to share with you, and this is going to make me seem old, but I also, I think if I share it with you in the right way, at least it would be seasoned with a little grace, perhaps. And that is a phrase that has evolved, I don't know if that's a right word, or devolved in our worship sphere. And, and I found that if you don't use it when talking about the worship order, or dare say liturgy, you you kind of reveal your level of coolness or lack thereof. It has even been adopted by one of my favorite tools, Planning Center Online. So let me get right to it. Through the back door, all the while revealing my age and apparent level of curmudgeonousness. It starts with my foot in another world. I didn't begin my music career in church music. I was a member of a touring secular cover band. The name of this group will give you the approximate date of our zenith, the Young Urban Professionals. This group was a smattering of progressive and conservative Jews, an Episcopalian, a few non-religious people, and me, a Baptist trumpet player. And these were great friends of mine. I love them all to this very day. And in the 1990s, most uh, every weekend, we had a we had a gig to do. We played four 50-minute sets and made money, good money. It was, uh, in every intention, a gig. And this was, by the way, before the decadent days, shall I say, of DJs. But I digress. We would open with a 10- to 12-song set, see what the people seemed to respond to, and create the next set on our break. Then we'd do three more sets as we would watch the people stow away their inhibitions. I did this for approximately seven years until doing this on a Saturday night and leading worship bivocationally at a church on a Sunday morning created for me a moral conflict. I started leading worship about four years into playing in that band. So... Have you picked up on my irksome phrase yet? I've used at least a word from the phrase four times in this narrative, and that word is set, and the phrase worship set. I'm not sure as to when I first heard it, maybe 10 years ago, but it is so prevalent now that to go into public, enable public view on Planning Center Online, it publishes your, air quotes here, worship set to social media. So, I find it amusing that Baptists don't like the word liturgy used by not only the pattern of the early church, but has its roots in the Greek liturgia, but embraces yet a phrase that gets its derivation from the rock and roll world. So, why do I not like the phrase worship set? I have three reasons. One, it's a worldly moniker. It takes something like worship that is above the pale, that should be sanctified, and places it in a worldly context. Number two, it implies that we don't have a better word or phrase. Or even that rock music gigs, a world that I am glad to say I was a part of for a time, nearly existed before Christian worship. 
because of what phrase we did use before. But number three, and maybe this is perhaps taciturn, renders that worship much more song-dominant than order-dominant. This is my opinion the problem when being extremely contemporary, song-driven, rather than action-driven. When I say action, I mean the congregation being involved in singing, speaking, and praying, not just simply standing and listening. Now, I'm probably splitting hairs, maybe infinitives, here, but I I don't mean to cast dispersions or seem hoity-toity. So, that's my beef with the irksome phrase, worship set. Do I believe that it's going to go away? No, but maybe think about it when you use it. Maybe allow it to remind you that there are probably better words in your vocabulary to describe the big picture, because we do believe, at least I believe, and I think maybe you do too, that worship is formative. And so being formational, we need to think of the big picture, not just the song, song, song that we see in a set. Now, here's a good word. Now, now that it seems like maybe I threw contemporary worship music under the bus a little bit, and I'll, I'll take that. Uh, this next book is fantastic if you have a praise and worship band. It's called the Praise and Worship Team Instant Tune-Up, and uh, it comes in a in a paperback edition for around $13 and a Kindle edition for around $8 on Amazon. It's by Douglas and Tammy Flather. There are uh, links to your show in the show notes. So please use those if you would. But this book is fantastic. It's a thin book and it just helps you with uh, organizing your rehearsals. It helps you with what you need to be listening for, uh, helpful charts and hints. It's a really, really good book. I highly recommend it for your your praise and worship team, whether it's vocalist or the instrumentalist. The Praise and Worship Team Instant Tune-Up. And that's it for this edition of the Monday Morning Worship Leader. Now, I know that you probably have ideas, comments, and maybe you don't agree with uh, my take on the worship set. That's fine, too. I would love to hear from you, regardless. And you can email me at John at biblicaltrumpets.org. That's where I also have a weekly blog posting. Now, as always, remember, we are not rock stars. We are servants. Till next time, God bless. Next time on the Monday Morning Worship Leader, we're just going to discuss it. Our choir's biblical. That's next time on the Monday Morning Worship Leader, wherever you get your podcasts.